Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. We are <laughs> we are here at my apartment doing another video. Today's video is going to be a review on the Stella McCartney Fella Bella bag. Now, there's a huge story behind this bag, so definitely stay tuned because we going to talk about it, okay? Um, this retails for about 1200 Canadian. I think it's about a thousand dollars US, give or take, maybe nine something US. I know it depends on the size. The smaller crossbody one is a little bit more inexpensive. This one is the big one. I believe it's the, um, the what do you call it? I forgot the exact name of it, but it's it's um, the it's not the crossbody one. So <sighs> Stella McCartney, there we go. Do you guys love my shirt? I'm loving. I'm like living for my shirt. Like, look at that. Oh, I can be silver, or if I want to be blue. <laughs> I'm loving this shirt a lot. Uh, the hair's still a mess, but whatever. It's going to get fixed eventually. Um, okay, so we're doing a review on this. I've had this bag for about a month, a month or so, a little bit over a month. And if you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I first spotted this bag at um, Winners, which is like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx kind of store. Um, you never find luxury high-end, because Stella McCartney is high-end. She's in the league of Gucci, Prada, she, and uh, Balenciaga, Givenchy, but she's not in the league of like Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel. Like those are the three, like the Trinity, which is Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton. Then you have all the other luxury brands be be below it, which is like Prada, Gucci, Fendi, Givenchy, Bottega Veneta, Stella McCartney. Uh, I'm trying to think of other brands that are in that league. I think, uh, who else am I missing? Am I missing anybody? I'm trying to think. Moschino, I guess, would be in that in that league as well. And then you have the other designers that are kind of below that, which is like, um, I'm trying to think, Alexander Wang, Alexander McQueen, Philip Lem, I'm trying to think, Carolina Herrera, uh, Versace. But I guess Versace could be in the tier, the second tier. But I don't know, Versace. Well, Vers yeah, Versace would be in the second tier. I think. Anyway, regardless, um, Stella McCartney is a high-end luxury designer. She specializes in all... Okay, what's going on with my hair over here? <laughs> she specializes in all vegan leather um, materials. She doesn't do any kind of leather, no fur. So a lot of people don't want to pay that because of that, because she charges a lot of money for something that isn't even real leather. But regardless, even though it's not real leather, it's still very, very high quality. I believe... Her hardware is palladium. I think this is palladium hardware. I could be wrong, could be ruthenium, but I believe from what I read it was palladium and it's very, very heavy. So it's not stainless steel. It's not, you know, it's a palladium. <laughs> I don't know what else is silver hardware aside from silver hardware, stainless steel silver anyway i believe if i if it's not i'm gonna google it after and if it's not uh, palladium i'll insert it somewhere what the what the hardware is but i believe it is palladium and this is made out of faux leather but it's supposed to, it's she calls it the deer skin deer skin leather i think is what she calls it and then the inside is this nice thick kind of material and it's made out of recycled plastic bottles which is nice and it's not it doesn't feel cheap at all the interior material feels very very uh, substantial and um it's pink inside i believe her the older models of the fella bella is not pink it's a different color but the newer models is a pink color and then it just says uh, stella mccartney made in italy right there this also came with a bunch of cards i left the cards at home but i'll insert a clip of what the cards look like came with a care card and some other cards and then this little medallion of stella mccartney right there there's one interior zip pocket only, and this is the price tag that came with it. So that's the price tag from Winners, aka Marshalls. They're the same company. And uh, oh no, Winners is the same company as Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Both. I think they're all the same company actually. So they had it priced at eight ninety nine and on clearance for six seventy five, which is still 
ugh, incredibly expensive. I mean, um, retail is twelve hundred, so paying nine hundred, so three hundred less than retail, and then six seventy five, so five fifty less than retail. But I was actually going to go buy it, but I snap, I Instagrammed it, and someone from my Instagram beat me to it and bought it themselves. That's how that story went. And then, I guess a month after I, or was it a month or two weeks? I can't remember. I think it was a month or two weeks after I had vlogged about it or Instagrammed it. She messaged me and told me I'm the one that bought it. I'm like, oh, no problem. I don't, I don't really care. Whatever. She's like, because she's, she's a vegan and she, you know, she she loves luxury and, and things like that. So to buy something like this, I think, you know, that's why she jumped on it. It's, it's rare to find a luxury brand in, you know, where I live that's vegan. Like there's no luxury brands except for Stella McCartney. So that's why she picked it up. But because of some um, life issues or whatever, whatever life issues going on, she asked me if I wanted to buy it from her because she couldn't return it anymore. Um, the I think it's only seven days for seven days for winners unless you're a tj maxx member which she isn't so she couldn't return it past and she could only get store credit so she asked me if i wanted to buy it from her for the price of four hundred dollars and i'm like um yes i will <laughs> so i ended up picking this baby up for four hundred dollars which is about i guess like 320 american hello and it's brand new like it didn't come with a dust bag but still whatever right now that was this whole story behind this bag okay so the bag can be worn two ways it can be top handle like this and it's a heavy bag because of the hardware it is and my only problem with it is that i find like will this like right there like there where it the chain goes in with the faux leather uh braiding like will that eventually wear because of that you know especially if you if you feel this bag more heavily i wonder if it would it will eventually like give i mean it doesn't it looks secure but it does like i mean i guess it uh, i don't know i guess i would like prefer a double stitch instead because a single stitch i don't know if that would is suffice enough but i mean it is braided each individual chain so i don't know if that structurally protects the bag and regardless um it can be worn top handle like this or you can fold it over and wear it as like an envelope clutch kind of thing like this now wearing the bag like this is very very difficult like it depends really you can't f fully stuff your bag in order to wear your bag like this and secondly it's just um it, it depending on what the items are inside it falls weird like i'm trying to think i don't have any things in here with me but um my bag's over there but when you put stuff in it and then you decide to fold it over it doesn't fall like perfectly like that and that's exactly how you want it to look when you're carrying it but it doesn't it just looks all deformed and demented <laughs> like sometimes the chain will be to the left or sometimes it'll be to the side or sometimes it'll be like you know misshapen like that and it's not really aesthetically pleasing so that's my only problem with the bag wearing it this way although when you can get it to lay properly like the chains properly it does look pretty chic as a shoulder bag but I don't know. I think that can only be achieved with a small amount of items in your bag. So I would probably just always wear it as a tote bag, you know, like that. So, and then you have a chain in the front. But you can also carry it as a clutch. If you're going to carry it as a clutch, I think it's easier than trying to maneuver it into a shoulder bag. What I love about it is it has that protective thing there. So, plastic. So when you're going to clip it, it doesn't scuff up your hardware. I thought that was kind of neat. So you can wear it as a clutch just like that and wear it, like stuff it and that's also easier to maneuver into making it more aesthetically pleasing with the chain being centered like that and just you know whatever like that what up still mccartney what up still mccartney what up <laughs> but it's it's a cute bag and for the price point that i pay like i would not no no i would not pay twelve hundred dollars for plus tax uh -uh, ain't happening ain't, ain't happening but I would have paid the six seventy five, but because I got it for four hundred even with no tax, I probably now wouldn't pay six seventy five for it. Knowing what I know about the bag now, okay. So I know um, H R H Collection hated this bag, like she bought it and hated it. But I mean, it got a lot of reviews. I think it's really chic. I think it contributes to you know 
economically to the environment because you know the materials are not wasted materials they're recycled materials and you're not and of course it's you know cruelty free animal friendly so but a lot of people don't want to pay <laughs> over a thousand dollars for a non leather bag and I get that I really do I really wish that this bag had come with a longer shoulder strap so that it can be worn like a crossbody. See, like when you just go like this, it just, it does this like trapeze thing where it like hovers like that, you know, it's like weird. So it's like you need to maneuver it and then fold it and then it becomes somewhat acceptable looking. Okay, I'm gonna pack it with things and then we'll sh I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, let's put this wallet. Let's put my agenda. Let's put my keys. Let's put another set of keys, um, lipstick pen, hand sanitizer, um, floss, and coin purse. Okay, that's what we're gonna put in this bag. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, let's put all this stuff inside. So as a tote, ooh, that is a heavy bag. It is heavy. This is literally like five pounds. I'm not even kidding you. It's a heavy bag. This will give your hand a workout, okay? <laughs> so it is heavy as is, but look at it. It looks pretty chic as a tote. Now, if we're going to, and you can still fit a lot because it only falls up to here, so you can still fit a lot into it. I'm gonna wear this folded over like this. <sighs> That's what it's gonna look like. You see what I, you see what I mean? It looks kind of weird. <sighs> So maybe with some maneuvering, it might look less weird. No, it's not. See, you see what I mean? And you see what I mean like that? It does not look pretty like carrying it like that. No, it looks like a freaking garbage bag. Yeah, that, that doesn't look pretty, you know? And you're paying a thousand dollars for a bag that doesn't look pretty. Okay, so without the agenda, it looks somewhat a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. See, that's the way see see it does that like it wrinkles like that like it looks like a freaking uncircumcised penis like it's all skin skin is all bunched up and like when you're trying to put it over your shoulder and it's like there's just too much adjusting you know like you have to go like that to make it look pretty and it's just too much work for a bag you know you don't want to put a lot of work in a bag you just want it to be effortless you just want it to be like you put your shit in it and you're done you don't have to fiddle around with it. You don't want to, like, that's just my opinion. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want. That's just way too much work for a bag. I mean, if I didn't, if I hadn't have gotten this for $400 at, the, at that price point, I probably would have severe buyer's remorse with this bag. Now that's only carrying it this way. Carrying it top handle, which, carrying it top handle, which I am a top handle kind of gal, I prefer it this way. So, as a bag like this, I think it's totally worth the money. If you don't care about the fold over or whatever, that's fine. But I mean, you can wear this as a clutch as well. And I think that works perfectly fine um, as kind of like a casual clutch. But I kind of think it's a little too oversized for a clutch. Regardless, I still think for the price that I paid for $400, I think it's worth it. Now, if you get one on the pre-loved market in excellent condition with hardly any signs of wear, I think the $400 price point is amazing. I wouldn't pay more than $600 for this. So paying $1,200, hell to the no, I would not pay $1,200. But for what I paid, I'm, I'm a satisfied customer. Even though the fold over function of it, shoulder bag, it does not appease me at whatsoever. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of this bag. It's the Stella McCartney Falabella bag. It does come in a smaller size and a cro like with a crossbody or longer crossbody option. Um, I think I would be more happy with that bag than this one. But for the price I paid, I'm still a satisfied customer. Like I said, I wouldn't pay more than 400, possibly 500. 500 would be my cap for this bag. Anything more, I just wouldn't be happy because of the way that the bag, like if this is an option for the bag, it shouldn't be so much work to achieve it, you know? So that's just my opinion on it. Regardless, I still think, you know, what Stella McCartney does is amazing. She's just one of a few fashion designers that believes in animal free, cruelty free and all that good stuff and recycling. So that's an amazing kind of business objective for her. And I'm happy that I got this bag. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Stella McCartney Falabella bag. Um, it's included in my channel because it is, you know, I got it at, on a deal. I didn't pay full price and I would never pay full price. And um, I haven't paid full price for a lot of my luxury items. So 
That's why I included in my channel because I'm a luxury lover. I'm a luxury lover and I love luxe and nice things. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.